We got corn today. We're gonna roast it up in the grill. It takes about 20 minutes, so we're gonna get it on way ahead of time. Make sure it's done. Alrighty, it's been about 20 minutes, so we're gonna check on our corn. You should feel a little softness to it, a little give. So. Oh yeah, nice. The leaves are a little crunchy on the outside, soft. We're gonna take it and set it aside before we cook our fish. Let it cool down so we can handle it. All right, we have a special recipe for you today. We have grilled garlic rosemary trout. So to get ready for this, get your grill good and hot, about 500 degrees to start. Open her up, spray it down. Don't be afraid of the flames. Then we're gonna put the salt on your trout. Not too much, not too much pepper. Don't want it to overpower the rosemary. And then a little garlic salt. And open up your rosemary. I use crushed rosemary. Works the best, doesn't you know, get stuck in your teeth as much as the bigger flakes do. And you don't need much of it, it's really potent. Then a little bit of oil. Time to go on the grill. There we go. Shut that up, we'll leave it for a few minutes, come back, flip it, leave it another few minutes and she'll be ready. All right, it's been about five minutes now. We're gonna open up the lid, see if they're ready to flip, which I can tell by the backside they are. Yep, nice and easy. There we go. Shut it back up a couple more minutes, they'll be ready. All right, we're ready to take her off the grill. Oh, that rosemary smells amazing. Yeah, falling apart. Beautiful. All right, let's go eat this. All righty, we got the finished product here. Our garlic rosemary trout, our fried red skin potatoes, a roasted corn, a little parsley to set it all off. I hope you enjoy.